Hello everyone, today I am with Willie Jones. And this is On The Spot Interviews. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing well as well. It's um, it's great to meet you. I've uh, been following you for quite some time with your music and of course with MagCon and Chasing Cameron. So uh, it's great to have you back out here in LA. Yeah, um, tell us what you're doing here. There's some exciting stuff, some exciting re reasons for your arrival here right now. Yeah, I'm out here in LA actually just working on music, being in and out the studio, writing, um, just creating dope music. Yeah. And it definitely is dope music. What uh, genre would you consider it? Uh, it's definitely R&B, but um, it has a country edge to it. Uh, you know, country definitely inspired me a lot and uh, has some pop elements, but it's some smooth R&B. Love it. So basically, in a nutshell, it's the three best genres rolled into one. It's the three best genres rolled into one. Love it. I had a little miracle baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you mentioned that uh, you grew up listening to country. Are you like a Blake Shelton fan, Miranda Lambert, or? Yeah, I like all the all the ones you hear on the radio. Blake, Sam, you know, uh, all those uh, country artists. Casey Musgraves is one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I just started listening when I was probably 13, 14, okay. and um, just fell in love with the stories that they tell and, um, you know, just the use of real instruments and things like that. So, yeah. I love that. Yeah, because, of course, like, I love EDM and all that stuff, but to have, you know, just you up there with the guitar, that's always su gives off such an authentic yeah, it, vibe. Yeah, it gives off a dope vibe. But then I also have another side to where I mix that with, you know, heavy drums and okay. things like that, yeah. Awesome, awesome. And um, I'm sh I know you've answered this question multiple times, but maybe you have a new answer that you haven't said before. Um, if you could collaborate with one person, who would it be? Like in terms of singing on a track, and then if you could write with one person, who would it be? Mm. If I could collab with one person, I thought of somebody, because I change it every day. Okay. But this morning, I was like, that would be dope if me and this person did a track together. But... <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. It's so many good artists yeah. out there, and like I'm so all over the place. Like I could honestly see myself doing stuff with Migos, with with um, Sam Hunt, like something with him. I would love to write with Sam Hunt. Sam Hunt. I would love to write with Sam Hunt and get on a song. I would have to say, um, really collab with. Uh, I like Miguel a lot. Oh, okay. Miguel okay. is dope, and he's super. Uh, musical and like the prince you know aspect that he has yeah i think he's really underrated yeah i think so but miguel and sam Hunt. i love that they're both great artists of course and of course lyrics are very important to them i um uh, i'm getting the vibe that they're important to you as well yeah, so yeah. um where where's your favorite place to write music is it outside in the hollywood hills this gorgeous view <laughs> <laughs> yeah this view is gorgeous but um usually i just write like when i'm back home like in my room or Honestly, if I just think of any mm -hmm. any line or anything, I just jot it down and I'll write anywhere. But being outside is cool and peaceful, you know what I'm it saying? Is. It depends on the vibe you're going for. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And this is, of course, on-the-spot interview. So uh, that means I am with some on-the-spot questions, rapid fire. It's okay. Um, lots of people, they you know, they, they mess up, but I would mess up too. So, like, I actually have mad respect for y'all. <laughs> Always start with this one. Always have celebrity crush. <sighs> Tori Kelly. Love that. Favorite song by Tori Kelly. Paper Hearts. Yep, me too. Oh, oh my gosh, the music so video cute. with Ian Eastwood. Oh uh, yeah, oh that. So good. The choreography, so good. All right. Um, your favorite brand of clothing? Um, I don't really have a favorite brand. I, I Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, your favorite frozen yogurt topping? Oreos. Same. Oh my gosh. Did you know that sometimes they're not Oreos, they're just called cookies and cream? And I'm trying to yeah, figure like, out what brand is tasting exactly like Oreos. Yeah, they're ripping off Oreos. Yeah. They need to cut that out. Yeah, but it m probably makes it cheaper for us, so I it's okay. Yeah, shout out to Oreos though. <laughs> yes. And number one place you would love to perform that you have never been before? It would be cool to perform somewhere in Africa. That would be awesome. Yeah, somewhere Definitely. in Africa would be crazy, but... Um, Oh, so many dope venues that I could see myself yeah. playing, but Africa. Yeah, I love that. And what was your favorite place for MagCon? Oh, Barcelona. Oh, my gosh. I yes. missed with Spain a lot. Spain was dope. Barcelona, but, oh, Paris was dope, too. But, yeah, Barcelona, the energy was crazy. Oh, 
Yeah, I saw you guys got to go everywhere. I'm sure it was just yeah. a blast. No, yeah, it was. A, get better. Yeah, it was a blessing, man, to be to be in the midst of uh, you know those people and uh, just becoming friends with them and just traveling the freaking world. Like yeah, I traveled literally. the world as a 21 year old. That like, is amazing. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about the future. Awesome, as you should be. And your favorite guilty pleasure show, like maybe a show like a reality show or something. Uh huh. Uh, I, oh, <laughs> I watch, I watch The Bachelor. I get The Bachelor a lot. I get Catfish, Dan yeah, Small. I watch The Bachelor. Uh, it's this new show on Netflix called Thirteen Reasons Why I'm binge watching now. Oh my gosh, I've that's heard nothing one. but good things about it. Yeah, that's a good one. And what's another like guilty pleasure TV show? Adventure Time, like cartoons, that's my thing. That. Yeah. That. What was your favorite Disney show, like childhood Disney show? Like the That's So Raven Sweet like oh, era. Ooh, um, hmm. Proud Family. Okay, I, I don't know if I remember that one. Yeah. See, I was super delayed with Disney. Like I didn't start watching TV until sixth grade or oh, so. Okay. But then once I did, I got into all those you shows. Gotta watch Proud Family. It's like it's like an animated series. It's about it's a black family or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sick. It's dope. Man. Okay. Hopefully, I can find it on watch.disneychannel.com or something. Oh wait, that's the thing. You can like watch. The show. You can, but they don't have everything on there. They have Lizzie McGuire. Oh, that's a banger. Yeah, I messed with Lizzie McGuire. Right. Uh, what was the other one? Um, you said that's already even, even Stevens. Kim Possible. <laughs> Kim Possible was. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I love it. I yeah. love it. And your favorite color. I know that's a cliche question, but that's a good oh, yeah. question. That's a great question. My favorite color is orange. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so oh, lit. Like fire. See, I was going to say like the orange 50-50 bars. The ice cream oh, okay. bars yeah, are yeah. so good. They, right? they are fire. I so, will say. What's your favorite like source of caffeine? Coffee, tea? Uh, Pre-workout. <laughs> Which brand? Uh, C4. Oh, okay. I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when I work, because I don't drink sodas or drink coffee or okay. anything like that, but I will put some pre-workout in my mouth and, <laughs> you know, get lit. I love it. I love it. What's your favorite 2017 saying right now? Is it, it's lit fam? It's lit. It's, I've never heard it's lit fam, <laughs> but I do say fam all the time and I do say lit all the time, so maybe it's lit fam. And I think there's what else? There's Sav or Savage Dope. Uh, Ag is like, have you heard Ag? No, what's this one? Teach me. Yeah, Ag is like aggravated. So like, I'm so Ag right now. Oh my gosh, thank you. I can keep up with all the cool kids. Yeah, Even though I am a kid, I don't, I can't keep track of You can't keep up with all the, all the same. It is, because it's so much like with social media, like it's yeah. so much new stuff every day you can't keep exactly. up. Exactly. Remember Bay? Oh, Bay is still. It's yeah. still, but I remember. But Bay used to be like. Everybody with that's my baby, that's baby, that's yep. baby, she baby. Yep. Literally, that's <laughs> what people thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. I just have two more things for you. Uh, first, let's plug your social media and okay. just because obviously posers can pop up. But. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Willie Jones. You can follow me. <laughs> yep. like, like, yep. <laughs> you can follow me at Willie Jones, uh, W I L L I E J O N E S on Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, official Willie Jones, Snapchat, Willie Lee, uh, back page. That's a joke, but yeah, just follow me. <laughs> And lastly, and you have to take the mic for this one too. Like it just, there's no other option. Uh, just a little message to all of your fans. What's up, family? Uh, I just want to thank y'all one for just rocking with me for so long. And new fans, welcome to the fam. Uh, message for y'all: just thank y'all. Seriously, thank y'all for su the support. Uh, please continue the support because this is a dream that I've been having since I was knee high, and I honestly won't be able to continue to do it without you guys so i love y'all stay up love yourselves love people be positive uh straight up peace love hair grease oh i love that thank you so much for your interview and i hope to catch you at your next show in la but if not i just i wish you the best of luck with everything i appreciate it of course of course oh, hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, stay up. <laughs> bye guys peace